Hello and welcome everybody. Once again, I'm Necromanticer, and here we are underway with our fourth episode of Prison Architect. As you can see, Phoenix got a few more things up and running, and especially important is the delivery section got fenced off with some road gates. That's going to be a real big deal coming up soon, but there's always more to do with the prison, so right now we're looking to raise our prisoner capacity, and it's about time we set that up, especially since we still have more prisoners incoming, so since we have this lovely second setup of prison cells, we can just extend these right on down and set those up to intake prisoners as soon as they arrive. That should keep all of my maintenance men busy and make sure that we are keeping a nice little setup. Something else is that we have this security all nice and ready. We already have this all set up for later rooms to come, but not going to have to deal with that just yet. Do we have our second extra? Yes, we do. We have an extra grant slot, so let's open that up and see what we want to come up next. Prison maintenance is an easy one and is pretty easy to fix up, so let's grab that. We're going to need groundskeeping as well as prison labor for a little bit later. Oh, we don't have a maintenance man, so... We're going to want to pick him up and also unlock patrols because that's going to be important in an up-and-coming grant. So hire up our foreman so he can get researching. And I believe all this is set up. Time to install doors in our prison cells. Got to, oh dear. Got to make sure that everybody is nice and secure. Prison is not really conducive to having open doorways. But no matter, I'm going to start setting up this office here that we're going to need to count as the security. It's going to be pretty bare bones, but also functional since we're going to want most of the space here for CRT TVs once we have that unlocked. Let's see, is there anything else that we necessarily need at the moment? I think we should also start, yes, we have health unlocked, so we can start creating this, uh, what should we call it, the infirmary up top. But we're also going to need a little bit more, so let me just check real quick how much we're going to need. Uh, 16, I believe, and 17, 18, 19. I'm just making a nice space here for some psychologist offices, since we're going to need some of them to keep tabs on our prisoner and host behavioral therapy, as well as a little bit extra for a morgue right off the side of this infirmary that's going to get set up. So let's look for the hospital beds. There we go, medical beds. You're going to want to set these up right along the way. Also set up some concrete walls just for some privacy in the prisoners. And once that's... Oh, I need an entrance. That's right. I was like, why isn't that completing? But no matter. We can set up an entrance here, here, and let's see. One right about here. That'll do nicely. No, one over. That way everything gets kept straight. Let's immediately wall off the morgue. Wouldn't want anybody stumbling into that and set up some morgue slabs. And now we get to decorate our set of offices here that our psychologists are going to have. Let's set one right up against the wall. And over here, no, now come off it. There we go. Also going to need chairs in front of and behind all the desks so that the psychologist can actually see their patients. Sell the log because while generating with trees gives you a little boost in income and makes it easier for you to start up workshops, it requires a little bit more micromanagement as you have to manually remove all of those. Just set filing cabinets along the walls here. Seems like the easiest way to set that up. And now I can actually apply the rooms. Also want to set the morgue and we're going to have three different offices here. One, two, and three, because the more psychologists you have, the better grasp you can get on the needs of your prisoners, as well as you get a better idea of, oh, yes, I wanted to make sure that I had the right guys selected, but you also get a little bit more information. Okay, let's see what rooms we have access to. I'm looking to get this laundry unlocked, but we're going to have to wait till prison labor. But otherwise, our infirmary is done, so we can hire a pair of doctors, and they'll set up in there. Do I have deployment? I do. 
which means I'm going to want to set the morgue and staff room and do I want to set that? No. I, I do need this delivery section to be prisoner okay because there's a little bit of a hiccup with the way that laundries work. In order for them to work properly, they need to be accessible to prisoners. So I not only have to keep the laundry open to prisoners, but I also have to keep the deliveries open for them to carry the prisoner uniforms on over. Also, it looks like we're getting really filthy, so let's hire some guard, some janitors and a gardener. That should help take care of the hygiene issues. We have these cells all set up, so immediately want to tag them, make sure that they're available come morning. And let's see, do we have the security at the moment? We do. Beautiful. We can set this up, and now all of our extra guards are going to head over there. We're going to wire on a higher, uh, about five more because there's a grant coming up that requires that. Let's have a look see. Yes, the security procedure. Now all I have to do is actually deploy some patrols and we'll get the grant money on that one. We're going to mm, cell block B, I don't think just yet. But since we have prison labor now, we can start assigning them after we build a laundry. And let's let's start on the short-term investment. That'll be a good back burner type grant to keep us busy. I'm looking for the laundry. This is always the hardest part, is navigating the room and object menus. So many times I'm looking through, and I just can't for the life of me figure out exactly what I'm looking for. Or exactly where to find it, but let's set up that with a pair of ironing boards and the laundry baskets. Beautiful. Once we have those set up, the laundry will be up and functional, and we can task some of our prisoners to use that. Also want to assign some to the kitchen, even though they can't actually work it just yet, as well as I'm going to set up a cleaning cupboard in the power room. I've tried this before, and it always works beautifully. Prisoners, generally speaking, only use it for hiding contraband, which can be very easily taken care of since you can search it without any ramifications. No one cares once it has the uh, actual designation set up for a cleaning cupboard. Why can't I, why can't I set that up? Why can't I set any jobs to the cleaning cupboard? I'm a little bit confused. It should be able to let me set jobs there. I don't know why it's not. Hmm, is it a separate room? It is, it's got a door. Let's make sure the door is functioning properly and just dismantle that. In the meantime, we've got a few other things we can be working on. We can start setting up the security area. Oh, all of our bureaucracy is done, so let's unlock education and armory and dogs. That way we can set up the armory and kennel that we're going to be setting up over there. Anything else to be done? You know, something that this prison is missing right now is any sort of flooring. Right now everything is the standard... Uh, oh, first off, the utilities. Definitely want to get that up and running before I do anything special, but again, something we are missing is any sort of flooring, because right now everything is the standard concrete floor, which, while it's okay, it just looks really, really bad. So now that we have pretty much all of our prison up and running to a decent degree, we've got room for our next prisoners, let's actually get some regularized flooring in here. I like to use mosaic flooring for anything utilitarian because it keeps the fast move speed and it actually looks pretty nice. So oftentimes regular hallways and securities, all sorts of places look really nice when they have the mosaic flooring. But prison cells, prisoner cells, I think they can go with the just matte uh, concrete. I think it looks best. Whereas anything sanitary or like hospital related gets white tiling so kitchens of course any sort of canteen laundry and infirmary even the morgue just because white tiles feel very sterile and that's kind of the look I'm going for with that common room it's just prisoners and while they should have a little bit nicer floor because it's a place they should be hanging out we're just gonna leave it at mosaic anywhere that I'm actually going to ex be expecting my uh, off officials to be hanging out for any amount of time. 
I'm going to want fancy tiles just because it looks really nice. It's really cheap and while it still only has normal speed, kind of like white tiles, it's unimportant for people to be passing through here because they're just going to be milling about most of the time. So I think it works really nice for the aesthetics of it. I'm not going to do anything in the kennel room just because that works just fine sticking to the regular color scheme. And I believe that's about good. Do we have any... Oh, I'm looking now to see what sorts of grants I can get. Now the cleaning cupboard's accepting jobs. I don't know what was wrong with that before. I do think it was a door. The game is still in its alpha, if only in name. I think this is a lot more advanced than most games alphas ever reach before they go beta, but that's just personal opinion. Let's set up guards there, and I want at least one guard to be patrolling right here as well. This will keep them generally in a nice setup, and I'm also going to deploy a guard into the canteen because that's the most likely space for riots. It seems that our danger levels are not quite right. I would really like those to go down, so I think I'm going to adjust the regime. I like the starting with a shower idea, but after that they should go to eat, uh, maybe? Yeah, let's set them to eat first, then lock up. It's best to set them to work and then free time because it's a nice little break and it doesn't feel like you're coddling them. But at the same time, it works nicely because you keep them uh, set up to actually maintain your prison if you're actually giving them jobs. So I like to reward them with free time after some work, then some yard. I think that they could use quite a bit more work, especially because you basically need a three hour block of work time in order to get most sorts of education done. But otherwise, I actually kind of like the way this is set up. It starts them off by taking care of both of their needs. It sets them throughout the day. It takes care of pretty much everything. They work. They have some yard time. Plenty of free time throughout the day. A few hours to themselves. And then it sets them off to eat once again before bed. So I think we'll be keeping that regime. And now it seems that we're going to want to get a few more grants and start expanding our prison. So yes, definitely grab the security rating because we are about to expand into an armory and kennel. But before I do that, I'm going to want to heavily increase my prisoner capacity. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's take some measurements here, 12 by 13, which means since they're sharing a wall, it's only going to be 11 by 13, and another 11 by 13. This should effectively double my prisoner space once I'm set up. But at the same time, this yard here may pose a bit of an issue. Oh dear. Something that I'm noticing going wrong quite often is that these two jail doors keep getting stuck. So to fix that, I'm going to station a guard into a room right nearby so that they can effectively manage these doors whenever there's an issue. So I'm going to need to set that up. But right now my guys are a little bit preoccupied setting up this new prisoner space and we do need doors since right now it's only linked to the outside but once I actually set that up proper these doors can be taken off and used in a bit more efficient manner or you know I could just leave those on to specifically section off each block into a set of eight cells I think that might work nicely too I'm gonna have to see how that works out let's see are the utilities already over there I, I was like, it didn't say they were unpowered, so I was wondering how they were getting wiring, but no, they are definitely not powered just yet. So let's run a cable right down the middle, because I'm probably going to expand these cell blocks a bit upwards. And is there anything... Oh, let's sell all these logs. Again, a nice little cash boost, but it's a little bit micro-intensive and gets a bit obnoxious. Let's see, bureaucracy. I'm going to un want to unlock the clone feature so I can just copy these cell blocks right on over and not have to worry about it too much. Otherwise, it might be a little bit micro-intensive as well. Let's make this shower a little bit more symmetrical. I just noticed that something was going wrong there, and I want to fix that up. But let's see, is there anything else to be done? We are negative income, but the new prisoners in the morning should take care of that. I've got a nice setup coming with clone where I can just immediately copy these over and I think I'll set up the armory and kennel before I go but this is about where I'm going to be 
cutting us off for the day, so thank you so much for watching. I'm having a real pleasure playing this game. Everything seems to be working out quite nicely. Me and Phoenix seem to be cooperating really well, so props to us both for that. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.